hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Feel like I'm out here by myself, but I'm not alone Designer don't mean shit, cause I got it on What a bad bitch think she it, but she got it wrong Love it now, she calling on my phone I was destined for this shit like it's real Jury know what it is, man, salute to the subscribers That notification gang, etc, etc Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you I got my guy with me Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies Pow! Ah, grown man blog, something you gotta deal with mm, No matter how many fabricated lies They ain't gonna equal up to this real sh Battle of the Bay. Grind time. Salute to Grind Time. It's good to see Grind Time back in their mode and doing the things that they do. Mm -hmm. uh, we're bringing you this recap, and I know people want it on the spot, on the spot, but we waited till the event was over. Uh, you know, got some time to think about it. Got some time to watch a couple of the battles more mm -hmm. than once. And you have Big K versus T Rex. So T Rex comes into this battle. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of people didn't even know if he was gonna do it. I don't think people knew. Until the day of the battle that he was going to do it, or the day before when he right. was actually in Oakland. That was the word behind the scenes. That was the things people was talking about. But he showed up, and to me, he had a vintage kind of performance. You know what I'm saying? I liked what he was able to do, uh, the energy that he was able to bring. And this is Rex. You know, he's been around forever, and Big K is continuing on his run to try to be the battle of the year. He's had so many good battles this year, and now he was showing up in a battle versus Rex. Mm -hmm. Now, was the battle met with a little controversy over the weekend? Yes, it was. The word was because uh, it came out of the disaster battle that ARP was trying to quote unquote bribe T-Rex off the car. We knew that was anything but true because why the fuck would he block the way for Big K? You know what I'm saying? So that's the first thing that I thought. Like why would he take, why would he be trying to stop a Big K battle? If anything, he should be trying to get him them. So it's weird when you hear something and then they say something and you go, well, that ain't what I heard. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, cause if I heard Rex wasn't gonna be there for other reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but, I, cause I had heard he, I heard he was supposed to be on Summer Man. I mean, yeah, all of this shit. So yeah, anyway. Yeah. Uh, the battle happens. Uh, what's your first thoughts of the battle, man? I'm not gonna lie. I, I thoroughly enjoyed this battle. Um, I thought this was one of the better battles of uh, the first night. Uh, it definitely turned up. Uh, uh, we could talk about a couple other battles that was, that was on the that was on the whole card that was like felt like a battle of the bay battle. But this was kind of like outside of its own battle of the night. To me, I, I feel like it might have been the best back and forth. I saw it. Let them know. You know what I'm I saying? Like I, I felt like it might have been the best back and forth. Uh, between the two, but it, it's still a 30 sack of work for the dog. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna keep it real with y'all. I really had Big K winning every single round. There are things that Rex was doing that I was like, yo, this is vintage Rex. I mean, for God's sakes, the man threw his hat a few times. Rex even came out the gate with a very current, current event bar. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? First one to come out, uh, once one, first person to smack a white person instead of Alabama. Like, it. Rex was going in already. Like, I like what he had. But Big Kato, Big Kato, he ain't he ain't been losing. Mm -hmm. And 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 I feel like in this battle, he just keep the snowball effect. It, it, the avalanche is just gonna keep flowing for this one, man. I I I feel like Big K is number one contender for the year. I'm just saying he's the number one guy. He might be the number one guy after beating Rex, because you beat Mook. Then Rex. Come on, man. Come on, man. So, what's your thoughts of the battle? I'm trying to look up some I'm, I'm saying it, it, like. the, the battle itself is really good. I, what would y'all need to watch the battle? That's another thing, too. Make sure y'all cop the pay per view. It's only $60. It's a VOD. But coming out the gate, Rex started off crazy, but Big K was ending all of his rounds the right way. The one thing that I specifically liked was the second round was when he was talking about how if she young uh, if she's young enough to chew gum, she she young enough to get hit. Mm -hmm. And he flipped all of those bars against him. Now I'm not a big fan of any of the, the pedophile bars or anything like that, but in this sense, it worked because he played it in his favor. I'm not. All right, let me get into these bars, man. So first out, T Rex comes out to the comes out and says the Montgomery boy says the last time someone threw their hat in the air, he says the I ain't mook. Uh, all I take is uh, one hit. Then he says you better keep it positive, K. He said, uh, eating cereal through a straw, thinking you eat cereal through a straw for thinking you special, special K. K. Uh, chop his leg off, K. He says, uh, don't ask me why New Yorkers style be using 
uh, be out of here with the sticks. He said, be out here with the sticks. That was a dope line. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, he said, I'll be out here with the sticks. They think that my reception is bad. Mm -hmm. Then he had the uh, vanish mode, the gone instantly. I did like that line. Uh, Big K comes out in his first round. I just dropped two thirties back to back, and the dog ain't broke a sweat. Mm -hmm. Another dot on the table, like the domino, domino effect. effect. You remember the bars, but you ain't got them written down. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I, you know what I'm saying? This nigga remembers the bars, but he ain't got them written down. What it's is he doing? It's the same. Anyway, so uh, he says, uh, "You was locked up for two weeks. That's a long ass time." He says, uh, who waits till they're in their 30s to have a sit down? You know what I mean? Then mm -hmm. he says, uh, you came home after a few weeks later. <laughs> he said, now I'm a crip from neighborhood. Mm -hmm. He said, Rex tried to trespass with red rags. You were swinging on the fence. That's how we. Do that's why we believe you when you say every gun got a switch. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. every gun got a switch. Uh, he was saying, uh, everyone, <laughs> he said, everyone think they cripping since Nipsey and then he had the, uh, the same reason kids was throwing up bees in 06, because in the get what he was saying is in 06, a lot of the gangs started to like infiltrate a lot of the inner cities and shit like that. And it, it was like everybody became up. Niggas that wasn't even never part of no gang just woke up. I'm blood, I'm blood, I'm blood, right, I'm right. blood. So uh, he says, brought the dog, another vet. I'm here to euthanize him. He said, you ain't influencing the youth. You are influenced by him. I thought that that shit was fire. Because yeah, when you get to a certain age, mm -hmm. you should be influencing the youth. He said, you ain't influencing the youth. You're you influenced <laughs> by the youth. I can agree with that, too. I mean, oh, I, came, I, about to say, I came out of my city before the bloods and, and all that stuff. So like, round two, Rex gets into it. He starts getting into a little bag. I ain't going to hold you. Mm -hmm. He had the probation angle. Uh, he said all over the dope. He said, uh, he said. Uh, he showed the picture of uh, saying that uh, that Big K, uh, he only had probation for two weeks or mm -hmm. something like that. I was like, but, but didn't K just mention that you did too? Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, uh, used to hit the Av hard as George Foreman used to hit the bag. But the thing about Rex, Rex be a lot of delivery. Mm -hmm. I used to hit the bag. It's hard as George Foreman used to hit the bag. Like, like when he, the way he delivers his shit, mm -hmm. it hits. <laughs> yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Keep going. Go ahead. Uh, he says, uh, <laughs> he borrows the hat switching. I'm doing, I'm doing a Ray J tonight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Go ahead. Uh, uh, he said, get in your, he said, he said, uh, he said, you get two in your mouth for what you want to say. Mm -hmm. He said, don't talk to me like snake eyes. Watch your tone, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys switch again. You know yeah, what I'm watching saying? Yeah, watch your tone, uh, bro. Watch your tone, bro. Mm -hmm. Rain till it recoiled. Then he says, uh, when it, when it rain, you get the recall. Mm -hmm. When it rain, you get the recall. recall. And then you lighten the recall. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, he said, he said uh, put the streets on you. Mm -hmm. Lunchroom table. Mm -hmm. I put the beats on mm -hmm. you. <laughs> you know who I blame for this? I blame mm -hmm. DNA. I blame Easy to Block Cat. They were gassing the shit right there. standing right behind him telling him that that shit was Oh, this is the best shit in the world. Anyway, it was okay. uh, he says, uh, <laughs> he says uh, you're going down in the grave, you won't come out of it, put holes in the shoes, ain't that a crock of shit. Uh, then Big K comes out and says, You wanted me to write this down. No, I got no, keep going down. Oh, my God. I'm with you. I'm this, with you. See, this is a crock of shit. You know what I'm saying? That, I, the reason why I got him because I knew he wasn't going to get him. That's the only reason why. Certain shit, you got to just see for what it's You gave us a stipulation. You see, I see. This is not part this of This is shit. not one of the stipulations. But still, it, it fits. The, it fits the narrative. Mm -hmm. So anyway, mm -hmm. K comes out his second round. <laughs> you used to be a nurse. Why you couldn't become a surgeon? He sounds now I'm battling Newt Murder Moop, the evil version. <laughs> uh, then he says that she old enough to stroll across the street. He started doing that. Mm -hmm. He says not. He said not only is that creepy, it's illegal as shit. Yes, it is. Uh, he said that's why I'm ahead of you. If Nitty is the alien and Rex is it's the predator. <laughs> that. <laughs> That is how you rap, sir. <laughs> Come on now. Come on. Oh, 30 sack of work for the dog. Let's keep it going. Oh my goodness. He said, you know what rhymes with uh super tight with tech nines, suicides, and sex crimes. Mm. He, said, he said the real shit, his favorite spot to me to thought a field trip. And took her to the park and it was grown man bars. Because when you go to the field trip, grown man world. bars oh is something God. she got to deal with. That's crazy. <laughs> Come uh, on. You, say, you see Rex on the deck keep the kids in the house. So, <laughs> uh, he said, so young. Uh, I make the airplane noise. He broke that board. Oh, down. my God. That was bad, Oh, my too. God. Yeah. It's certain things a real one don't even joke about. Uh, he said, he said, I'm about to expose your past like Nardwar, Rex Green on the inside. He had the rap top bar. Big K just kept on floating. Come on, man. 
He's so green on the inside. He's a rep. He's a reptile bar. T Rex green on the inside. That's a reptile bar. In this show, Rugrats, they had the uh, the reptile. They had the candy bar. And when you bit inside of the candy bar, it was green. Come on, man. man this, I'm just putting it out. Come on, the guy man. that's gonna break it down and the way it's supposed to be done. I'm just I'm just here. So we had the fraternity scheme, the dead president scheme. T Rex in his third. Uh, for years, we burnt up bread. He said, shoot you from the ocean view. He had a Virginia, the, the, he was talking about the Virginia. Then he said, I went to the gun store in Queens. I bought the whole left rack. What that means, to a lot of people that's from not from New York, left rack city is a place in Queens, right? Oh, so, okay. left rack is where Noriega's from. There's a lot of other people, it's called left rack uh, city, it's not Queens. Shout out to the rack. Um, here I am thinking he went into a gun store and the whole left side of the gun he's, store. But he's using it as an entendre. Gotcha. He's saying, I went to the gun store in Queens and bought the left rack. I don't even know if there's any gun stores in Queens, but anyway, I'm gonna let that fly. So what he's saying is, I went to the gun store and bought the whole left rack, but mm -hmm. he's using it as a double entendre. Like, like, I can give you a point for that. I'm cool uh, with hey, that. Hey, hey, let him um, He says, uh, he says, uh, uh did, 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 he had the old somersaults. I did like that. Mm. Cases for flipping, I had somersaults. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, somersaults. Somersaults. Mm -hmm. Somersaults. Mm -hmm. uh, more counties than Florida State. Uh, he had, that, 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 it was a good third round for him, too. In the third round, K comes out. You know, he said, he said, he said, I spray the slug and play your thug. You'll lose an eighth of blood or some shit like that. Mm -hmm. K comes out <laughs> his third and he rebuttals it. He said, lose an eighth of blood? That ain't even a lot. You know what I'm saying? Letters real hard to read, like an eye test. Uh, T stuck on the side of the building. Then he had the Rex, uh, hit, hit Rex and it affects his kids. He had that bar. Uh, he had the, uh, I'm in the M5 with an M1, sound like a takeout order. He said, you could put five on one. It's like a Netflix account. Hoping to get saved by the grapes, divine intervention. You ain't a serial killer because you hanging from the grape nuts. Listen, man. Y'all can take it how you want it. I got Big K winning the battle. Clearly, uh, I, I don't. I can't pick two rounds, and I'm like, he's he beat him. In, you know what I mean? Now there are gonna be people. Trust me, there are gonna be people who mm -hmm. feel like Rex won, and I'm not tripping off that. You know what I'm saying? But if you're asking me, I feel like Big K got it. I, I'm comfortable with a two one. If you got a three zip, I got it comfortable with a two one. And I'm edging every single round. Like I, it, it's no, it's I guess it's Harlem hate. I guess it, which is ridiculous because one of my goats is from Harlem. Charlie Clips. Oh, two of them actually. Which is case mm -hmm. But I'm saying there are people who would think that I don't like Mook or Rex. It's fine. Mm -hmm. But show me the material that could be what Big K has brought onto the table. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm saying. I got Big K clearly winning this battle. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't. I, I mean. Everybody's listen. At the end of the day, everybody's got their own opinion. You can feel how you want to feel. Do I feel like Rex is better than he's been in recent memory? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But I feel like uh, if I get that performance from Rex in every battle, would I be satisfied? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be good with that. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm not mad at anything he said or did. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. But to say that he had a bar in one of his rounds, it's like he said something about like turn up, like a turn up bar in yeah. 2023. You know what I'm saying? To me. It's like I need a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? I can't be in a vegetable state and he had like a pop my palm of granny. Yeah. I heard that like ten times already. Mm -hmm. Jerry West did that when he had the scheme when he did the fruit shit. Anything that's in hit my palm of granite. Mm -hmm. I get it, my palm will grant it. Yep. And turn it like verse what Big K was saying. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Big K more is like Yeah, come he on. Has more Big K is on you right now, yeah. like yeah. If she's old enough to cross the street, she's old enough to get hit. First of all, it's creepy and illegal as shit. Like, he's bombing on you for relevant shit. To me, I'm not gonna lie, it sounded like Big K was on round four versus Murder Mook. He didn't, he didn't take like nothing it. out nope. of what he was doing and just kept on with the same, working the wheel, working the wheel, he working the wheel. He kept the same foot on the gas all the way from A Ward. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's like, for some reason, he's been on this type tear. He could arguably be 9-0 and in his last three jumps. He's arguably Yeah, bad. yeah. He's arguably yeah! Which is wild. But you already know what it is, gang gang. Hey, wake him up, T! Feel like I'm out here by myself, but I'm not alone. Designer don't mean shit, cause I got it on. What a bad bitch think she is. But she got it wrong Loving now she calling on my phone I was destined for this shit like it's red on a stone